are you today? I'm good, thanks. How are you, Lisa? Good. Hey, did you happen to hear about that lady on the news last night who was sexually harassed at work? I did hear about that. I think it's so brave of her to speak about what happened. I really admire her courage. Well, I was sexually assaulted by the owner who was also the manager of a truck stop restaurant. Um, he started off with poking and pinching. There was no orientation. There was no training on the topic of harassment. There is no policies on harassment or any policies on any topic in the restaurant. People did witness what was going on. Um, they turned a blind eye, I believe, uh, in fear of losing their jobs. Um, I watched him do some of the things he did to me to other people. Well, I told my fiance finally what was going on. Um, he told me that I couldn't go back, so I contacted a lawyer to advise them what, of what I was going through, quit my job, um, was also told to go to the local police department, which I did. And uh, once legal action was commenced, then I had people who backed me. I wanted to come forward with all this because there was young women that, uh, you know, worked in the restaurant and I was scared that they would, you know, be subject to what I went through. And I didn't want that to happen to anybody else. People have got to open up their eyes about this too, or they're going to find themselves possibly sued, in court, or facing other criminal charges. I know it's hard to believe, but this really can happen in the workplace. And it's so harmful to the person impacted, both emotionally and mentally. They say something like 75 to 90% of these incidents go unreported. I bet you it's because people are afraid of what will happen to them if they do come forward. Right, and if it doesn't get reported, you don't know what's happening, which makes it very difficult for an employer to prevent it in the future. And there's other types of harassment happening in the workplace too, which I bet would make that number even higher. I think so too. Discrimination, bullying, rude gestures or comments, these are all different types of harassment. What one person thinks is a joke could be in fact harmful to another. The legal definition of the word harassment is about behaviors or gestures or activities that provide an unsafe workplace in terms of uh, physically or mentally harming the worker or doing some kind of action or inappropriate behavior or gesture against some of the items against the items that are on the protected list. Viewers can find information on harassment in the Saskatchewan Employment Act. If they go to the Employment Act and download it, they'll see in Section 3 there's an Occupational Health and Safety section. In that section, everything that is appropriate to our legislation is in there regarding harassment. Additionally, you should also go to the Occupational Health and Safety Regulations. There's a really good section there on the requirements for a, a harassment policy or anti-harassment policy. The first kind of harassment is harassment against uh, items listed on the protected list. When we talk about the protected list, we're talking about ethnicity, place of origin, color, disability, those kinds of things. One thing that's rather unique is we actually separate out uh, sexual harassment. The third type of harassment is personal harassment. And the short story on personal harassment is it's bullying. Now the difference between bullying and the other two is bullying usually occurs with multiple events or multiple incidences or one dramatic event or incidents. For the first time in many years, organizations are actually having to deal with it in a real and meaningful way. We need to get the message out there that everyone has a responsibility in the workplace to protect each other from harassment. Right, and employers have a legal responsibility to ensure that everyone is protected. Supervisors share that responsibility too. It's up to them to make sure that their workers aren't participating or causing harassment. Right, and harassment really can happen in any workplace, and that needs to stop. It has to come from the top. Not only are there legal implications, but there are other consequences they could face too. I've heard about organizations going to bankruptcy from growing legal bills to their public image destroyed. It's pretty sad. I've certainly seen an increase in the number of harassment complaints and uh, lawsuits alleging harassment in the past six months to a year. We've also seen an increase in the number of employers who uh, have come to us to create a harassment policy, which is important because in Saskatchewan it's mandatory for all employers to have a harassment policy, and just updating their harassment policy to make sure it's clear and complies with legislation. 
the legislature has set out some clear guidelines for employers about what that harassment policy needs, uh, and there are good resources if you need help getting started. It is sad because it could have been prevented. Employers need to ensure that they're protecting everyone in the workplace by having the right policies and procedures in place. We need to make sure our employers know about all our great resources we have on our website on this very topic. That's a great point, but a policy is just one piece. Workers need to know that if they report something like this, it's going to be taken seriously and that the policy will actually be enforced. Definitely. How an employer reacts to a report is going to set the tone around the tolerance of harassment and the importance of worker safety in their organization very quickly. And it could be a manager or supervisor who is allegedly harassing another worker, so there needs to be another channel of reporting, such as the HR department. And they can't report what they don't know, which means workers have to be trained on how to prevent and identify these types of situations if they ever occur. We better get to work and get the word out to our employers now. Mm -hmm. The last thing we want to see is one of our employers on the nightly news. Hello, could I please speak to your general manager, Mr. Williams? 